Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are going to be going through my design portfolio that I used to apply to five different schools last year. It was accepted by three schools and that was SCAD, George Mason's design program, and TCU's design program. I got waitlisted at NC State, so you can use my portfolio to figure out what's good and what's bad and all that. I did get my portfolio scholarship for SCAD, which is where I go now using this portfolio, so you don't need a portfolio to get into SCAD, but it's good to submit one because you can get a scholarship from it and they're just looking for any sort of creative work. It doesn't have to be super good or anything. They're just looking for like potential. So based on where you apply, they require different numbers of pieces that you put into your portfolio. Some schools were like 10, some schools were up to 20. So I'm gonna show you the 12 pieces that I used. I am a graphic design major. So a lot of my pieces are graphic design related. I had a lot of graphic design classes in high school that I was able to do lots of projects in. I've got my computer right here with like all the pieces on it, so that's why I'm looking down. So the first project that I have here is a brand that I created called Vidya Tea, which is like a tea brand. I came up with the name, designed the logo, came up with the color palette, and then I designed like the packaging and did mock-ups of the packaging. So I had a lot more when I submitted the project with just like all the iterations of the logo and the packaging. But for my portfolio, I just made a little display page showing like a few of the examples. So at the time, this was one of my like strongest graphic design pieces. And I thought it would show pretty well just like my whole process of coming up with the brand, creating the logo and all the packaging. And I used both Illustrator and Photoshop for this. My next piece is a project that I created my junior year of high school for a local fish market. I blurred out the name just because it would kind of give away where I live, but I was really proud of this project because my digital media class worked together to create new branding for this fish market. And I was on the graphics team, so I helped design the logo and created these posters. We went with the ones on the bottom with the chalkboard because that's um, kind of like the vibe of the fish market. And I explained in some of my short answer questions in my applications and like in the description of my portfolio that we worked for a long period of time with this fish market to like create these things for them and we actually saved their business from eviction so it was a pretty cool story that we got to help out with that so this next project that i did is one of my favorites probably because i spent like so much time on it it is an original font that i created it took about a month i used adobe illustrator the font is named vienna i had seen a lot of font displays on behance that you mix together like photography and typography to display the font that you've created. So I decided to do that for my final display to submit to my portfolio. So all the pictures in here are pictures that I took. And as you can see, I have like the uppercase, lowercase, and the symbols and numbers so that you can see what all the letters look like. And I kind of just wrote out random words so that you can see like how the letters work together. And then I have a page showing like the elements of the font. Typography is a big part of graphic design, so I wanted to show that in my portfolio. I'm still honestly not sure why NC State didn't accept me. I I mean, I'm glad that they didn't because if they did, I probably would have felt like I had to go there. And I'm really glad that I am at SCAD because I like it a lot more. It might've come down to like the design essay that I had to write, who knows. So the next thing I wanted to show in my portfolio was my like illustration side. In my free time a lot last year, I did like freelance projects of creating pet portraits for people and posting them on Redbubble so that they can buy like stickers and shirts and stuff with their pets on it. I put together kind of a compilation of my favorite pet portraits that I've done and I really liked these projects so I thought it would be good to put in my portfolio as just kind of like a thing that I do for fun on the side as a hobby. So some of the schools that you apply to might want you to mix in some different forms of art other than just what your major is gonna be. So I had a lot of graphic design stuff. That's like basically all that I had because I don't really do much other art in my free time. But NC State wanted to see kind of like a variety of stuff you do just so that they can see like your potential and like how creative you are. So I did this little drawing. Looking at it now, <laughs> after I just finished my first drawing class at SCAD, I can definitely see like that it's not perfect, but I don't, I don't think it's horrible, so I just put that in there to show them that I can draw somewhat. 
I can draw a lot better now that I've taken drawing class, but you know. I also wanted to put in my little interior design project. It's basically just a drawing of a Victorian house, but I actually designed the whole outside of the house too, which was why I wanted to submit it because it showed the whole process. I didn't like show pictures of the process, but I talked about the process in my description. Probably like not one of my strongest pieces because at first glance, it's just like, it's a house. Like, what's the point? Looking back, I think maybe, I don't know. I would say if you have some like really good art pieces, definitely put it in there but if they're not the best and you can replace it with more of your major stuff. Like, I don't know if I should have submitted those art pieces since they weren't great. So moving on to my two biggest projects that are in here, I have the trifold displays for my two Skills USA projects. Skills USA is a club that I was involved in in high school, which is where you can like compete in different areas of interest. It starts at the local level where you compete with people in your high school and then you compete at the state level and then at the national level. Both times I competed, I was able to go to nationals, which was really awesome. The first time I competed in t-shirt design and I got second place in states, but then the first place person couldn't go, so then I went to nationals and placed ninth in nationals. This past year, I competed in pin design and I got first in states and first in nationals. I submitted into my portfolio my trifold displays, which show like the whole process and everything about the design. So this is the one for my t-shirt design one. I have the design in the middle and then like all the representation, the color palette, and the design process. And then I also put in my pin design one because that one, well, I guess actually at the time when I submitted this last November, I hadn't won at nationals yet. I hadn't actually competed in states yet because it got canceled that year because of COVID. So I just competed this spring and summer, but I have all the same stuff on this one. And this is definitely like my favorite design project I've ever done because I just love the way the pin looks. And I also included in my description when submitting my portfolio, like all the details of competing and stuff, just so that they know the context of it. I also submitted a YouTube video. This was my um, September bullet journal layout from like 2020. I think it was my best video at the time, which is why I submitted it. And it showed me doing like my bullet journal art, which I guess puts in the other aspect of like drawing and stuff. I don't know. I, I feel like my videos have improved a lot since then and I don't know if it was a good thing to put this into my portfolio or not. I mean, I guess it was good because it showed that I have another side hobby of YouTube, but it also wasn't like the best quality video, so. I also could have probably spent more time creating more projects for my portfolio. It's too late now. I'm um, already in college, so. This was another illustration type project that I did. I think I did this my sophomore year of high school and it's a polygonal tiger made out of shapes and this took forever. It's not my favorite for some reason, probably just because it's just the head of the tiger and not the whole background. But I think it was a good piece because it shows like how I can do shading and using the eyedropper tool, all the tools inside of Adobe Illustrator. All right, so this next one is, <laughs> this is funny. So like last year, me, Enzo and Carolina and Kirk, my brother, we started this little like Instagram page called World Happiness Project. And it was supposed to just be for like mental health, productivity and travel, just like a blog, but Instagram style. We only posted on it twice, but I designed the logo for it and I designed kind of infographic style pages for the posts. They were like swipe pages. And in this project, I also made a little mock-up of the Instagram interface on the phone with the account on it. All right, and my last of the 12 projects from my portfolio is a app concept design that I did. I really liked this project. I really like doing app designs. I actually just recently did one for my final project at SCAD in my design one class. This was another project where I came up with the name for the brand and the logo. The app name is called Strider. It's a personal growth challenge app where you basically get like a challenge every day and you can enter different communities with different challenges just to have like a daily challenge to do every day. So for this project, I designed the welcome page and then the login page. And then I made this display just to submit into my portfolio with everything on one page. And I really like this project actually. I really like the mountain stuff. I kind of want to like go further with it and design more pages. 
I just need a UX designer. That's my problem. I keep designing all these apps and I don't have a UX designer. Or a, not a UX designer, like a coder to like turn them into an actual app. I mean, even though it doesn't have like a ton of pages of examples of all the pages of the app, I feel like it kind of shows the potential of what the app can be. And I think that's what a lot of the college admissions people are looking for, just like for the potential. And they're not always looking for a final project. Obviously, if you have a final product, it's great, but they like to see just the process. Wash you actually, they said like you can even submit projects that are still in the process of being made because they want to see what you're working on right now. But yeah, if you are in the middle of submitting your portfolio, be sure to check each individual school that you're applying to to make sure what they want in their portfolio, like specifically the number of pieces, the description, and the variety because some schools want to see just the things that you're planning to major in but some schools like SCAD or NC State want to see a variety of creative things so that they know that you're a creative person. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully you can see like the do's and don'ts. If you are in the middle of the portfolio process, good luck <laughs> because it was very stressful. It, was, it wasn't even stressful, it was just like time consuming, like submitting everything and typing out the descriptions took forever. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions because I can probably answer them. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye guys.